Hello, hello! Welcome back to my channel. My name's Hannah if you're new here. Hello. Um, I haven't seen you in a little while. I wanted to give my Black Lives Matter video a little bit of space. Um, and also, um, I've been back to work and things and I know that you guys are wanting to know about the vlogs, are they coming back, all of that kind of stuff. So those kind of general updates will be at the end of this video. Um, we're gonna dive into a little unboxing that I have for you. Um, you guys know that I do these. I'm very, very lucky that I get sent a few bits and pieces and I do these social little thing unboxings and it feels really, really treaty to me and I am very, very lucky to be able to do that. And the idea is to like showcase some new brands or maybe uh, brands that you haven't heard of before. So um, I have a few bits and pieces to show you. I'm going to read you out some info and things. All of the links will be down below. Um, some of them I have used before like I'm aware of the brand and I can give you a little mini review as well and I'm aware that there are quite a few tanning things in here and I get a lot a lot of questions on tanning and I know the brand that I have fallen in love with recently is in this box so I am going to go through a few bits and pieces. So first of all it always comes with a nice little card it says to Hannah so happy to be collaborating with you again we can't wait to see your video hope you are keeping safe and healthy love the SLT team thank you love you guys now you guys know that I used to be a very skinny bird and now I am what I would consider to be like normal. I'm 5'10 and a half and I'm a UK size 16. I'm quite busty. I kind of, I have an hourglass-ish shape. When I gained weight I feel like I gained it quite nicely and it enabled me to stay in the modeling industry because you know they have a preference for being curvy in a certain kind of way which is a whole other video anyway um i was asked to pick a few things from this amazing brand um, called cosabella and they have some really beautiful lingerie and what was really interested to, to try were the things that were non-underwired the bra size that i actually wear is a 36e which is you know big boobs um so the first thing that I have to show you is this um, Dolce Curvy Bralette. I love these. So these are really, really pretty um, lace. And although they're not underwired, they've got a really kind of sturdy band to give you kind of support that you need. And what I really love about this, and why I picked it, is it has, the, um, it has three clasps. I find if you're a bustier lady like myself, most of the support actually comes from the band itself if the band doesn't fit you properly that's where you're going to have um, some problems and i find that the best kind of bands for slightly bigger busted women are the ones that have more than two hooks the two hooks are fine if you are kind of smaller up there as you don't need as much support but I find that if you are you know you're getting dents in your shoulders from straps and things it's really good to find some nice comfortable bras I haven't tried this yet but I can kind of tell from the look of it that I'm already going to like it and what I appreciate as well is that it has a thicker band I will happily do a video on um, bras and things that I think are excellent for bigger busted women if you would like me to but what I look for is pretty design nice colors more than two clips which this has and a slightly thicker strap now underwire or no underwire is your preference if your bra fits you properly the underwire should still be comfortable um but this is really pretty and then I got kind of a second style. I thought this would just be nice for like in the house or like maybe it's like a pajama top or something if I wanted to feel supportive. This is the NSN Curvy Racy Racer Back um, in navy blue. And again, so this is really pretty lace. You will probably see me post some pictures of me in these on my Instagram if you wanna go check that out. Um, the links will be down below and I just thought this was really pretty but nice that it wasn't like a traditional bra it's got this really nice racer back like this little frilled edge is really beautiful so um to go with those I did pick up a thong because I thought it would be like prettier than a full brief or something I'm a big fan of like a Bridget Jones full brief I know that I am young <laughs> but I just find them more comfortable to be honest and I you know don't often wear a thong but I thought 
I might get this in a thong style. I liked it because it was like fuller at the side, so I actually think it's more flattering if you are a little bit curvier. Um, and I can tell it's gonna be super comfy and it's just really, really pretty lace again. And this will go with both of these. The next thing that I have to show you is from Dr. Lip, the lip expert, and this is the lip tint. I absolutely love these and I haven't had the tinted, so it's, this is the elderberry pigment, and these are with edible plant pigments. So I haven't tried the tinted ones before, but I have actually tried their original. I'm just gonna swatch this on the back so you can see. It actually has a really nice pigment to it. So if you wanted to just chuck something on that you didn't really have to look at, you are kind of more of a tint type person. Like me, a lot of the time, I don't wear like a full opaque lipstick or anything like that. I tend to go with like a tinted balm of some kind because I just think it's like a bit less high maintenance for the day. Um, and then something like this would be really nice. It doesn't smell of anything either. So if you're a bit funny about smells and stuff, I know sometimes like a lot of lipsticks and things like smell really potent, um, but this doesn't smell of anything. So really, really nice. Excited. I've got a few bits from Isla. Um, for those of you that don't know, I also do makeup. I trained, I assisted, and obviously as I work as a plus model, um, I have spent 15 years <laughs> in the chair also. So um, I had a few bits and pieces from Isla. I really like Isla. They've got really nice um, tints and brow kits and things that I actually have used on myself and other members of my family um, so I really really like the brand as a whole and um, I find that they come out with really nice collections and they've got um, quite a few more they've got quite a few more natural styles that I really enjoy if I am looking to put a lash on someone or I'm looking to wear a lash myself so we have the lash tint and the dye brow the lash tint i've never actually used before but what i can tell you is i expect and it looks very similar to the brow tint is that it's probably about the same um i just think maybe this would be quite difficult to do on yourself but what i can tell you is that i have used this particular brow tint I cannot even tell you how many times. It's really easy to use. It gives a really good color. It lasts a long time. It's very, very user friendly, even if you're a beginner. And they have quite a nice color range as well. And this is something that I actually do use on myself. So this is really handy to have a spare because I think I've actually just used up my last one. So if you struggle with um, kind of like patchiness in the brow, you feel like you've got a lot of um, kind of unevenness and stuff or they're not sort of dark enough if you've dyed your hair recently or something this is really good to kind of just make them pop a little bit more and I really really like it so I'm excited to try the lash tint I mean my eyelashes are really dark anyway so I don't know whether this is something that I would necessarily need but also if I am going to be like doing makeup again or anything or you know my friends want their lashes tinted or something because I do have like a few weddings coming up fingers crossed because covid who knows um i am makeup artist on hand for wedding days and things so we'll see what happens obviously covid is not really allowing me to do the things that i would like to be doing right now so we'll see um something else that's definitely going to come in handy are the individual lashes these are really really nice now i have done many a wedding makeup but and what i can tell you is that those who are not used to wearing lashes or using more natural makeup because that is generally my style you know the makeup that i'm doing on people um they're not used to wearing a lot um individuals are really really nice particularly if you're an mua these are really really nice and something that i recommend you have in your kit at all times because they are really really nice to build an individual lash look that suits someone i know you can get a lot of strip lashes i'm a big fan of strip lashes i do use them on myself and other people but I find that if you've got someone who's a little bit not sure or just doesn't like the feeling of having like a full strip lash on or you can't find one that you feel is natural enough, these are a really good option because you can just pop a few in kind of on the outer edges or something. It's not gonna feel so heavy. It's not gonna feel as strange to them and you can kind of customize it for the look that you or they prefer. Um, these are excellent. I've used them loads. I've probably gone through three or four boxes. Um, you get different lengths. You get short, medium and long in here and they come in like a little group of three i don't know if you can see that i also think that the Isla glue is actually really decent i use duo glue it's like a typical like makeup artist thing i prefer the like latex free one personally i find that it's less tricky to use particularly if you're a beginner but 
cannot say enough good things about Isla. It's always in my kit um, and yeah, applies really nicely. I have a few things from Elegant Touch to show you. So I have a couple of bits that are kind of like nail upkeeps. So we've got a cuticle pusher and cleaner and then the um, professional nail files. The shape of these files makes it so easy to do your nails. Anything with a curve, because you shouldn't really be going kind of back and forth if you're doing nails, that's a tip. I used to do my, I did my work experience in a nail salon and I picked up a lot of hints and tips there and I do my own gels and things at home. Obviously, if you are going to be doing kind of nail upkeep and treatments and stuff like that at home, you want to be doing it correctly and you don't want to be damaging your nails. So um, getting files that have this curved shape allows you to kind of just do one long swoop on the nail which prevents things like breakage and stuff like that so really excited to have these and actually I have just run out of nail files because I've been doing like mum's gels <laughs> during lockdown so really excited and anything with this kind of shape is really really good. Cuticle pusher looks like a kind of basic cuticle pusher. I really like the um, colour though. This is really cute. Obviously has um, how to use me and stuff on the back. Just be really careful if you're doing this kind of stuff at home. Um, you don't want to be like damaging the cuticle or anything. Um, but these are quite common and this is a really nice pretty one that kind of matches the colour of the nail file which is awesome. And then probably the most exciting bit to be honest. Now I do not wear fake nails normally I have never had acrylics I do gels at home or I get a normal polished one because for work my nails have to be or they should be a lot of girls actually do have acrylics now they should be really natural that's kind of just you're supposed to turn up as a blank canvas effectively and then the client will do what they want with you uh, generally speaking the models that work as models rather than influencers do not have acrylics or anything like that but I was sent a load of these um, elegant touch nails I do really love wearing these around Christmas time or when I know I've got a couple of weeks off because I might not want to go to a nail salon and I don't really like damaging my own nails but these last a good couple of weeks so um, I've got a couple of like neutral but like really cute ones it's this beautiful ombre like light pink with a little bit of glitter and then we have these ones which are kind of similar color and then we have Mauve Madness. And then we have the French Pink. So as you can see, they do do different shapes. So they have oval or they have like a more square style. And again, these two, although similar, are actually also different shapes. So this is the Squoval and this is the French. So because of the natural shape of my nails, I tend to normally wear a Squoval. <laughs> which is a really strange word to say. I find that if you size them correctly and you apply them correctly, these last really well, even through like getting changed and you know, putting your jeans on and off and things like that, they're actually really good. Um, and if you don't want to damage your nails by having like acrylics and things, but it's something you would like to try, these are a really good option, especially if you've got like weddings or a special occasion coming up and they're actually really not too expensive. So I think, you know, if you go to a nail salon, it's like what, 20, 25 quid, I think you can pick these up for about, I think they're under a tenner and they'll last you a couple of weeks. So if you've got an event or something, they have loads of different colours and shapes and styles and stuff. Um, and it comes with lots of different sizes so you can kind of match them according to your fingernail size too. Highly recommend, have used them on other people and have used them on myself and I really, really enjoy them. I think they're a great option for someone that doesn't want to go and get like a nail treatment. The next few bits I have to show you. Oh my God, it's so exciting. So. I have some things from the Bear by Vogue. So this is Vogue Williams brand. Um, it's vegan and cruelty free. We love. And I think the packaging and the kind of colours and everything are really, really beautiful. I have the Luxury Tanning Mitt and the Luxury Exfoliating Mitt. I actually already own both of these and I can tell you without a doubt that they are both fantastic. I'm a big fan of the more um, velvet ones and this is exactly what this is and this exfoliating mitt is really like I feel like abrasive is the wrong word but it's really exfoliating there we go without being like painful you know you can get some of them where you're like it just feels like I'm scraping my skin off 
um, but it's really, really effective at removing tan. Now, the tan that I have been using lately, I am due to re-tan myself because I have been working this week. I have a few different items to show you. I'll start off with the ones that I haven't tried, then I'll give you a quickie review of the one that I have been using and obsessed with. They have come out with a self-tan eraser. I normally use the Bondi Sand self tan eraser. It's the only self tan eraser that I have tried. It smells like bleach. I don't know whether all self tan erasers smell like bleach. This appears to have a coconutty, somewhat coconutty oatmeal-y smell. So you're supposed to pump this into your hand and apply to dry skin, leave on for at least three to five minutes. And in the shower, you then combine this with an exfoliating mitt or like a cloth of some kind to help buff off the tan. I find that the self tan eraser I use is really effective but it absolutely stinks and if you have dry patches it kind of stings the skin so I'm really excited to try this because I'm a massive fan of another product that's in here and I actually was sent it then I bought it myself because I needed a backup and they've just sent me another one in here so I'm literally I'm so happy right now. The next thing I have to show you is the face tanning mist. This is in the colour medium. So I like a face tanning mist. My advice is to do all of your skincare and things, tan your body and stuff from here. And then what I would do is just make sure your hair is covered and I would spritz from a distance after your moisturiser and stuff is on and then just take a little cotton pad or something and wipe over the brows because I find a lot of things, a lot of tan can get stuck in there and then you have this weird like orangey undertone underneath the brow hair which looks a little bit strange oh it smell it's got the it's got the bear by vogue smell i have found that their tanning products are the least tan smelling products that i have ever tried and i absolutely love them this is the self tan foam in dark the only foam i have tried and i only tried it once so i kind of haven't really spoken about it because i want to give it a couple more goes is the medium but i normally use a dark because dark hair dark brows I am super excited to have the dark and I wonder what the difference in depth of colour actually is. Obviously I don't like to go too too dark, I just like to look like I've seen the sun. I personally have like very olivey undertones and if it kind of gets into winter time or I've been avoiding the sun like I have lately, I get this like kind of weird almost like jaundice <laughs> look about me which is not so great. So really really excited to try this one. Again, I think it's probably going to have the same smell. Yes. It's like fruity but creamy at the same time and I find that as someone who has psoriasis, although tan does stick and will still stick because, you know, if you have dry skin that's just something that you're going to have to deal with, this tan sticks far less than other ones because it's a much more moisturising formula. This is the Bare by Vogue Self Tan Lotion in Dark. I only have the dark, I have only used the dark, I am halfway through my first bottle, I am obsessed with it. I tan probably every six days or something. Tan lasts pretty well on me, to be fair, and this stuff fades off so, so nicely. And I can actually also use this on my face and have had no issues with breakouts, no issues with it like clinging or like, you know, sometimes if you've had like a spot or something and you put tan over it, then it just like makes the spot look 10 times worse this doesn't appear to do that i never put like extra on my mitt i kind of do my whole body and stuff and then make sure that i've gone over like knees hands feet last and then what i will do is just take whatever's left on the mitt very lightly and kind of tap it into the skin or use a buffing brush for the face that's another really good way of getting a nice even not too heavy coverage it wears off really nicely the smell though guys i cannot explain to you the smell. Um, if you would like to see my full tanning routine, I will happily create a video for you on a day that I'm tanning to show you A, how I remove my tan, and then the before and after of like what I look like with it. If you would like to see that featuring this product, then do. So if you're not a fan of mousses or you find them tricky to use, maybe try something like this that is a lotion. The guide colour goes on so you can see where you're putting it. Um, and it is really, really, really nice. The next thing I have to show you is from a brand called Smug. Oh my God, this is so freaking cute, look at it. Oh, it's so soft. So this is a little sleep mask and it says hustle on it. It's so cushiony, oh my goodness. And it does have a Smug written on the back. 
This is actually adorable. Oh, I don't want to get makeup on it. Let me just plonk it on my head like this. Oh, the band is really comfortable. That's something that I've got a real thing about if bands aren't comfortable. It's so freaking soft, guys. The next few things I have to show you is actually from a vegan skincare brand. We've got Filth, which is um, dirty. It's a four step kit. So we've got Filth, dirt cleansing protection. So use Filth for dirt cleansing protection to remove buildup of oils and makeup. And then we have Stroke, which is double cleansing protection to even skin tone and reduce hyperpigmentation. Then we have Fortify, which is toning protection. Then we have Oil Cleansing to maintain skin's hydration, support with acne, hyperpigmentation, uneven skin tone and plumping. Apply to wet or dry face after cleansing and toning. Okay, so we have a little triplet. This is the Sustain and it uh, says apply to a dry face after cleansing and toning or wet face and rub to lava. Look how freaking beautiful this is. What the hell? I am a skincare fanatic. So I will be doing a little bit of research on this brand. It's got petals in it. I love glass packaging because I think although it's not necessarily perfect for traveling, as long as you're not throwing your things about, it is much more ethical and it's reusable and it's recyclable. And I think that brands should be looking out for the planet so that is something that i very much appreciate as a consumer right so the first bit we have is the filth apply to dry face or wet face and rub to lava um this has jojoba oil grapeseed oil pumpkin seed oil glycerin vitamin e and lemongrass oil beautiful let me see if it smells like anything oh my god that smells amazing right gorgeous gorgeous so cleansing oil is what i'm taking from that okay wow that looks cool this is the stroke. This is double cleansing protection for evening skin tone. Then we have Fortify, which is your toning. How pretty this is. So I'm guessing if you're into more natural skincare, this might be something to look for. Just make sure that if you are looking at more natural skincare or any skincare for that matter, that you wanna like have a look at the ingredients and be looking out for ingredients that suit your skincare needs when you're shopping for skincare. And the last step of this process is the sustain. So this says apply to dry face after cleansing. So basically it's got your double cleansing steps and then a toning step. And then this would be like something that you do to moisturize your skin afterwards. I actually am going to give this four step thing a go and see how well it removes my makeup as well, because I do often wear a full face. I mean, I don't you know cake it on but i do have a full face of makeup on regularly so it'd be really interesting to see again love the packaging really like the message um and the fact that it's like vegan skincare like cruelty free love the, pa the packaging's recyclable um came packaged really nicely and that is the kind of things that i like to see from brands i hope that you guys have enjoyed having a look at the things that i have to show you do keep a lookout in upcoming vlogs. Yes, I said it. Here's your big update. The vlogs are coming back. The vlogs will have different segments in for, so there might be one where I'm like doing my makeup. There might be one where I give you like a review of a product. I know a lot of you've been asking about my diet and my skincare, um, whether I'm training and things. I've been getting a load of questions about my lifestyle basically. I thought I would take my channel into a more kind of complete lifestyle -y thing. So there will be beauty things because obviously that's my passion, but I also want to do like more, I don't know, like fun Halloween videos, prosthetics, like more cooking, because as I have got older, I started my channel, I think when I was like 20, 21. I know I'm so small for the amount of years I've put in, <laughs> but um, it's really important with me that as you guys grow with me and we kind of grow up together, that I, I kind of grow with my audience and also I just feel more comfortable making those kinds of videos too so the vlogs will be coming back very very soon um keep a lookout in the next few days and yes I think that's all I have to say on the matter really thank you for all of your support I hope that you've enjoyed this video a little bit different to the kind of stuff I've been posting lately but it is something that I wanted to share with you guys Lots of nice brands for you to check out in here. Also, a lot of this stuff I think will make like nice gifts and things will be like really nice treaty things for you. Especially as I think we're all getting a little bit, you know, COVID mad at this point, even though we're not in full lockdown. 
who knows what's going to happen um, as Christmas approaches. Uh, so yes, I hope that you're all staying safe and well. Please do go follow my TikTok. Um, I have a ukulele one where I sing and cover and write my own songs now. I know. It's called Hannah Does Ukulele. <laughs> so imaginative of me. I also have my Instagram, which is Hannah Jo Janes. I've recently been doing like more comparison posts of what I used to look like as a skinny model. Um, and now I'm kind of telling you about each photo and how things are different. Um, as a reminder to you guys that whatever stage you're at, it's okay. And also your transformation, of course, never looks the same as someone else's. Um, so if you want some feel good body acceptance vibes, please do head over there. Um, and my usual TikTok is under the same name as uh, my Instagram. So it's just Hannah Jo Janes. We are getting a little bit political. There's some kind of feminist stuff on there. Um, maybe a little bit more of my like politics and um, general life philosophy than you get on here. If you are interested in any of that, then please do go ahead and check it out. I love you all very much and I will see you very, very soon. Stay safe, hit that thumbs up for me and I will see you in the next one. Okay, bye.